Our experience with EI Show has shown us the significant potential of social enterprises in improving lives and livelihoods in underserved communities. It has also made us keenly aware of the challenges faced by social ventures. To overcome these hurdles, the ISHA Accelerator delivers technical and strategic guidance to social ventures based on four key pillars, customer and user knowledge, hardware validation, manufacturing optimization, and implementation strategy. We annually match our finalists and final cohort with our global network of engineers, designers, investors, and entrepreneurs to ensure that the proposed hardware solutions are technologically, environmentally, culturally, and financially sustainable. Our global community of diverse experts generously donate their time and expertise to support social ventures. They work closely with the ISHO team to understand the unique challenges of the finalists in each region, share critical insights, and select our cohorts. Many of our experts return annually and bring colleagues to join our growing network. And some, such as our long-term judge, Mr. Adin Saruk, have stepped into strategic advisory roles as well. Adin serves on the ASME Engineering Global Development Committee and he's also on the ISHO Steering Committee and has been an ISHO judge since our very first ISHO in Kenya way back in 2015. I'd like to now invite Mr. Dean Saruk of the Phillips Foundation to provide a few remarks. Thank you, Iana, and uh, delighted to be part of your program and also of your network and uh, pleased to be part of this. Um, and we are at a very critical juncture in, in, in history. And, um, and we cannot repeat it enough, actually, that if we are going to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals by 2030, we need all hands on deck. Uh, engineers and social entrepreneurs have been playing a significant role over the last decade and will continue to do so in the decade to come. Personally, my, my African roots and, and first-hand confrontation with the development challenges were essential in my career path choices. I have spent my career actually in, in bolstering the innovation ecosystem in Africa and, and achieving the SDGs means innovating within the ecosystem, the ecosystem and it is essential to have research and development on the ground that can foster local technology development and unlock talents that are very key to achieve the SDGs. It was indeed in 2015, one, one year after I built Philips Research Africa, uh, that I got involved with ISHO. It was very clear that the development agenda requires collaboration and strategic partnerships to address the SDGs. And, and Philips as a company has been the first corporate to sign on the multi-partner trust fund um, to establish the SDG partnership platform Kenya and support the government of Kenya in its development agenda. This allowed me to be part of the UN system since 2018. And ASME has been an important partner during this period. In 2019, for example, and this is just one of the examples actually with the support of Engineering for Change and the, fellowship, the fellowship program, we have been able to support and advise actually the government of Kenya on technologies for housing construction. And we have seen uh, the example in one of the previous presentations. And, and my transition to the Phillips Foundation has been a natural step and, uh, to, uh, to focus more on sustainable and scalable innovations for access to care for the underserved. Um, my experience has enabled me to interact with social innovators globally. Um, and what I have seen is that system change towards SDGs is possible, that we can leapfrog the development towards the SDGs through technology, and that collaboration has the key towards impact. So scaling hardware-led innovations, social innovation specifically, is very, very much difficult in environments with limited resources. when it comes to, for example, uh, infrastructure and skills, and learning by doing is very important in this environment. And ISHO has, has been able to address several gaps in the ecosystem. So since 2015, we have seen many developments in rapid prototyping, 3D printing, um, skills, and of course, also the end user centric design process. And I have seen uh, ISHO impact on social ventures across the continent firsthand. And of course, being judge and reviewer, of course, gives closer look to reality. And the strategic conversations between ISHO experts and startups 
fills a significant need in the ecosystem and provides a catalyst ventures really need to scale to market and, and make a true impact. So as May I show has established a unique and critical offering to social ventures. So seed grants, mentorship, design services, business development assets that ASME invests into their annual cohort truly goes a long way. And I see tremendous potential with ISHO, and I'm very much excited to build on the success to date. Thank you.